what are the hidden secrets of Pulse Chain? In this video, we'll be looking into the hidden secrets of Pulse Chain revealed by one of their developers and see what this means for their success. Hello and welcome to AB Crypto. If you are new to our channel, just hit the subscribe button below and hit the notification bell to receive any new video updates. You can also follow us on TikTok and Instagram at underscore AB Crypto underscore. And if you want to read some more about today's topic in our blog, you can get the links down in the description below. Also, sending the AB Crypto team a super thanks donation goes a long way for helping us to continue to provide content for you. We thank you for your support. Without further ado, let's get started. As the world is fast moving towards adopting blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies, there is a huge demand for projects that have higher throughput and lower fees. Ethereum in its initial years had both of these features, but now, due to its massive demand, that's not the case anymore. The transaction fees are so high on Ethereum that users lose 5-15% to of their investment just by moving their assets from one wallet to another. This, of course, calls for new innovation, and while many developers are working to solve these issues, Richard Hart and his ecosystem system remain at the epicenter of this revolution because with Pulse Chain, Hart has promised his community all the good things that a user or a developer can ask for in a single project. Developers of Pulse Chain have maintained complete silence over its progress, but it turns out due to its endless hype and anticipation in the market, that doesn't seem to be the case anymore because veteran developer Kyle, who also participated in the development phase of Hex, talked about what's going on with Pulse Chain on a YouTube live stream. Some of the key points he highlighted include, Number one, Richard Hart is the true leader. Hart is not like any ordinary leader who sits in his office all day and makes his team work to achieve the unexpected. In fact, he's the opposite. Because not only is Hart always around his developers, but he knows the team well and goes through the entire code himself to see if there's something that needs a fix. With such leadership, developers feel confident to work around and experiment with things they wouldn't otherwise do. This also develops teamwork, and with a healthy workspace culture, it is obvious that the end product delivered by the devs will be pure class and flawless as seen in the case of Hex. Number 2. Go Language The second thing Kyle talked about is the move towards Go Language from Solidity and highlighted some technical key points. According to him, the problem with having a consensus mechanism on a chain is that it makes it become subject to the constraints of your virtual machine. Ethereum Virtual Machine, or EVM's primary job is to output state changes. The nodes also have to transmit information between different computers that are running the EVM. Then they become subject to all the consensus vulnerabilities. So basically, with EVM, if you need two computers to convince the third one for output, you have lesser tools available to reach that answer. Go language is different because developers get to use their actual computer instead of the virtual computer, and this is why they're not constrained by a virtual computer. So, starting with the Go language is the best call to make, because with Golang, you have more tools to fix things around or do large operations once everything is up and running. And as blockchain is really not good at doing large operations, this will help to give Pulse Chain the higher throughput that Richard Hart has promised. Number 3. Pulse Chain might not take as long as Hex. According to Kyle, Hex took almost two years to launch because it had to be robust. Hex does not have a central authority, and once you're done with the code, there's no going back and fixing the bugs. In a way, there is no stop button that developers can push in case of an emergency. But Hex has been running flawlessly despite such complex mechanics. And this is not a miracle, as that came as a result of years of hard work. That is also not the case with Pulse Chain. You don't need to code everything prior to the launch and have the freedom to change or improve things depending upon the user requirement or the upgrade needed. Because of this, there's a chance Pulse Chain might launch a bit quicker than we expect. Number 4. Bridges on Pulse Chain are exciting. For Kyle, the most exciting thing on Pulse Chain is going to be the bridges. The collapse of bridges is quite common in the crypto world, and what Pulse Chain is essentially trying to do is work its way up to research and solve this problem. The team hasn't found an answer yet, but they are dedicating their efforts to find an ultimate solution for them. And once they do, this will mean a lot for Pulse Chain because this will onboard some serious business. Since Hart knows how important this is, there's hope that he and his team will ultimately find some answers, and this is as as exciting as it gets. Number 5. No exact date on Pulse Chain's launch. Lastly, according to Kyle, he isn't sure when Pulse Chain will launch. For him, it can even happen tomorrow or two months from now. But for now, no one in the development team knows for sure what Hart has in mind and when he believes will be the best time to launch Pulse Chain. 
So, with the inside updates of Paul Shane's development, it just leaves no doubts in anyone's mind regarding how powerful Paul Shane is going to be upon launch. It is in the right hands who understand what they're doing and are passionate enough to help the blockchain world move to the next level. With this, it's obvious that good things are definitely on their way. So, what do you think? Do you agree that Paul Shane is going to be a killer once it launches or not? Like always, do let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section down below. This brings us to the end of today's video. We hope you guys found this video resourceful and entertaining. And if you have any more information to add to improve to the content in this video, please do so down in the comment section. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And if you loved watching this video, send us those likes. We thank you guys for watching and see you in our next video.